darlings, welcome to Tea with Justine. We are in the famous port city of Liverpool today. And we are going to discover as much as we can in one day. So one of my favorite places to visit in each city in the UK are the libraries. Because they have the most amazing libraries. These are people who understand the magic of books. So here we are, the Liverpool Central Library. like the uh, Manchester Central Library. It's really cool on the outside. The inside just looks like a normal library. Although this one I have to say is a pretty cool library and it's really tall. All right, well let's go see the rest of Liverpool. So here we are in St. John's Garden, which is a lovely garden where you can just sit, chill, do some people watching, let the city move around you. And it's right in front of, or rather behind St. George's Hall, which houses everything from concert halls to law courts. And it is a grade one building, which means it's of exceptional interest in historical and architectural value. Built in the neoclassical style, sits across from the train station in the city center and it's pretty massive, I have to say, and pretty cool. Stands tall and mighty. I'm really loving this giant shopping area. It's all pedestrian walking. English soft ice cream. Very soft and fluffy. Almost tastes like I'm just eating whipped cream. What a lovely day for a stroll. Need new trainers? Just visit the king of trainers. <laughs> so this lively shopping center is Liverpool One. Famous for its great shopping. are at the famous and historic Albert Dock. This was the gateway to colonization, basically. So much history has come through and out these docks and this port. I'm excited to explore it. I'm so glad we got great weather today. knows Liverpool is home to the Beatles so we are on our way to the Beatles Story Museum which is also on Albert Dock. How convenient! I'm excited for this magical experience! Well, that certainly was magical, especially if you think about the impact these four guys have had on the world with their music. Something special, isn't it? 
Now we're gonna go grab a bite to eat at the Baltic Fleet, which is a Liverpool institution and a pub that served many a hungry sailor in its time. And it's built in two parts. So one part of it is built in a Georgian style while the other is built in a very Victorian style. And I can't wait to try some Liverpool Scouse. It also happens to be Sunday, so I'm excited to dig into some Sunday roast here. Okay, so we can't go to the Baltic Fleet because they stopped serving food at 4 p.m. and it's just past four, so we're a wee bit late. But that's okay, we're gonna go find food somewhere else. All right, so we are going to head to the Ship and Meter, another Liverpool institution and a pub with a lot of history. Uh, before it became a pub in 1935, it was a coach house. And it gets its name from two former names, the flagship and the meter. And um, it still maintains some of its coach house architecture. I'm excited. Okay, so we are at the ship and meter and the chef has just made a fresh batch of yummy scouse, so I can't wait to try. This is a place that is known for scouse here, so. This, my darling, is a Liverpool staple scouse. <laughs> The meat is so tender. So there's perfectly cooked beef in here. Or is it lamb? I'm not sure. And carrots, potatoes, I think maybe tomatoes. It's fantastic. This is great. This is a perfect, delicious, hearty meal. Okay. Now I know why I wasn't sure if it was beef or lamb because I think there's both in here. My gosh, this has got to be the biggest cathedral I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure it's bigger than Il Duomo too in Milano. Ooh, we're gonna go in though, and I'll show you more of the outside in a sec. This is massive, amazing. I cannot even believe this. moly that has got to be one of the most magnificent cathedrals I've ever seen next to Il Duomo this thing was like oh my gosh I have no words I'm completely speechless it was just beautiful moving amazing have to check out the Liverpool Cathedral this cathedral completely took my breath away oh my gosh just keep looking at it it is this is god this is god like oh my goodness okay i'm gonna stop now okay right behind me is the oldest chinatown in europe here in liverpool look at that giant pagoda it's quite lovely isn't it okay so right now we're walking by a bombed out church Bombed out by who? I'm gonna find out, but I'm guessing it was bombed out in World War II. 
But it's crazy, like how much of it has stood up. All the outer parts of the church stand and it's just empty inside. Creepy, yet very fascinating. They use the bombed out church for different events and I was just saying that it would make a cool outdoor music venue and sure enough, I saw a sign for a concert. Pretty neat usage of a bombed out church. Okay, so this here in fact is St. Luke's Church which was heavily bombed out in 1941. It was built in the early 1800s. Kinda cool and creepy at the same time, but that's history for you. Well, thank you so much for a wonderful time, Liverpool. I was truly impressed with you. This was such a fun day, and thank you all for tuning in. So if you enjoyed that adventure, remember to subscribe to our channel and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. And we'll see you all next time as we discover the world through tea together. Toodles!